Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so happy you're here with me today. I'm gonna paint birch trees, which I think are super fun to paint. I found this reference photo on unsplash.com. I'll link it in this video's description. I'm mostly interested in this side of the video over here. I like the big trees. I like the trees off in the distance. Um, I'm gonna paint well, actually, first, I'm going to sketch out a little game plan because I'm going to paint on a 10 by 10 inch canvas from Michaels. I've tightened it up with a little bit of water. I like the inch and a half thick ones, the level three, they're gallery wrapped and spline. But I need a little game plan because I'm not going to follow that photo like I would a lion or a pet portrait or any like a lot of animals. I follow them much more closely. I'm going to play with my own design and layout just a little sketch, which I'll time lapse. And then I also think uh, to set this up, I'm gonna paint with just cad yellow medium hue. Here, as long as we're doing colors. Phthalo blue green shade, black and white. I might have to add a color, but I'm gonna see if I can have a mostly yellow painting. Okay, let's have some fun. chat a second about what I've got going on so I I did dry like the when I painted the sky yellow I dried that with a hair dryer and then I painted the ground dried that with a hair dryer and then painted some trees in the background just simple trees dried that so I am using cad yellow medium hue like I mentioned and phthalo blue green shade. So that blue is phthalo blue green shade. And it's making me nervous. I've never done a yellow sky before, so that's making me nervous. I keep telling myself values are more important than the color. <laughs> uh, but I just want to let you know I'm scared. Uh, what else? Oh, I put out Mars black and titanium white. Oops, sorry. I bumped my, my phone is just to the left of my shoulder and then titanium white. Okay, I really want to like put out an orange or a cad rib. I'm like, let's just see if we can make this painting work with the yellow and the blue. And since I was nervous, I mixed a yellow green, I mixed a little bit of white and phthalo blue green shade and a little bit of green. That's a pretty aqua color. I think that might be pretty for the birch trees. And then this is kind of a darker grass green and this is a grass green with some black. Oh. What's kind of neat is when you mix yellow with uh, Mars black, you get a neat kind of army green, pea green. So that's fun. I can get a warmer green. And then this is um, phthalo blue green shade like I do for the winter paintings, the snowmen, the, the church in the snowman, uh, some of the ornaments. Um, so this is phthalo blue green shade and some gray. And then I put some black in it to make it darker. That's basically the color I use for snow. So I mix these colors just to help me feel more comfortable. I've got some things to work with. I've been using a one inch brush from Low Cornell. Really nice brush. 
And then if your paint's wet, it, mine's not, but you could scrape the wet paint, you know, like especially an oil painter. It'd be fun to scrape in some lines in here too. A lot of times I paint them lighter instead of scrape them. Uh, what else? We're not too far. Oh, when I did the sketch, I don't know. I think it's been a bit since I popped in. When I did the sketch, I used Hippie Crafter Soft Pastels. I like them because they're a little on the hard side. They're sort of like a new pastel. Um, N-U-P-A-S-T-P-A-S-T-E-L. I think they're, that's Prismacolor brand. And I'm not too far from my sketch. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Gosh darn it. So there's a little Velcro piece on my microphone that's sticking to my shoulder. So sorry about the wiggling. So these trees are really blue, but I'm just saying to myself, you know, and I, I want some leaves in here, but I'm just kind of saying to myself, you know, sun is at, at about a third. This is kind of close to the middle, but I think I'll put it here. But you know, my biggest tree and then goes back into space this way. And then I know my sh if my sun's here, my shadow's gonna go right. And then since this tree's on the other side of the sun, the shadow goes left. And then I just basically did a little atmospheric perspective on the ground. So I have great, sorry, I'm just trying to set my sketchbook down. So I want, I, this could be a little lighter, but I think this will get darker down here. So kind of a light blue gray comes to warmer greens and some yellows in it. And I'm gonna let my cat out and I'll be right back. Okay, this is a simple landscape, you know, it's just, and typically trees that are straight up are darker. I'm trying not to hit my phone again so it doesn't wiggle. So let's see, can you, like it's pretty dark where these are going straight up. Whoops. So that's kind of what I'm doing with these and I might lighten them, darken them. I varied the color a little bit it's pretty much the phthalo blue green shade. It's pretty much this color, the phthalo blue green shade and some black and white. And I also did some straight up gray. There's some straight up gray. This is just Mars black and white. And then mixed in a little greens and just to vary the color a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna spritz this. It's really hot in my studio right now. We, um, had some really cold weather and then it gets warm. It's kind of the weather bounce, the temperature's bouncing around more than I remember as a kid. Kind of go hot, cold, hot, cold. All right, so I'm just gonna take one of my Hippie Crafter chalk pastels. Um, I, the link is in this video description. I think I already mentioned that. It's an affiliate link. Um, I always feel like I need to warn you. You don't have to click on it or, and your price stays the same, but if you do happen to want to and you buy through it, I'll make a few, little bit of money if you buy something, but your price stays the same. Okay, I think I've already done that, so sorry if that's like sounding like a second commercial. So I'm looking at my sketch. And then my, my sun is sort of round, but don't worry about how round it is or how light it is. I just kind of want something that I can see, hopefully. Oh yeah, you can see it. Just so I know my sun's about on the third. Yeah, so really, I think I'm gonna adjust this a little bit and bring this big tree over to the right. We'll just have it come right over and then it's gonna come down. You could put it in the middle, but it, I think it's better if you don't. Okay, so I'm just kind of, well, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna keep that sun round, I don't think. So I think I'll pretty much just make it straight up. I like the chalk pastel because it'll uh, dissolve into the paint better. You could use watercolor pencils. Uh, sometimes I use a charcoal pencil. I don't want it too dark. I use General's charcoal pencil or sometimes a white one. I think I just bumped my phone again. Okay, so I'm gonna sketch on I think that's gonna be my fattest tree. And then this shadow now is gonna be a little tricky, but I think it's gonna go, we'll just have it go a little bit like that. Okay, and then I don't know if I want the branch going that way, so we'll maybe put in 
this tree is gonna stop maybe there. next tree, well I have two trees at about, oh gosh darn it, it's stuck to my sweatshirt. Sorry guys. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look as close on video as it is. So this is a little over a foot between the camera and my canvas. My shoulder is like three inches from my phone. <laughs> it's pretty close, but it looks further away on video. Okay, so then these two... So I have two, I have one, I'll put one. So what I'm trying to figure, like I'm just trying to stagger where they end. I think that's as low as I want to get that one. So I make that one a little lower. And then we'll kind of go one, two, and then do we want to split it? I split it in my sketch. Let's maybe not. Let's bring it over to the left just to try and make things more random. Okay. And then this is fat enough. I could probably just. We could bend them a little bit. Actually, I could split that one. That might be kind of fun. That's not what that wasn't in my sketch, but that's okay. This is more of a just a simple design, simple landscape. And it keeps me on track so I don't get too too off course. It's all helps me work a little bit out with the color. Uh, it helps me realize that my trees are going to have to be pretty dark, depending on how dark my background is, because the sun's coming from behind. All right, and then these are pretty straight, so I'm not sure I like that. What I could do. I kind of like that one straight, and I could put another small one in here that leans, maybe. This guy's pretty straight. Do we want to kind of... That's another thing, too, is it uh, comes up quite easily with my kneaded eraser. Or I could wash it off. If my background's dry enough, I could wash it off. better so they're not just they're pretty straight but um kind of want a little leaning let's see if this one's here maybe just have it kind of curve down just a little and this one I think I want pretty straight because it sort of keeps you in the painting we're gonna What's nice about these shadows is they're gonna point us into the painting, which is one thing fun about a backlit design. I can make this tree a little bigger even though it's lined up with that one. And then we could even though that takes you off the painting, I think we've, we're gonna have enough direction. All right, I think that's our basic design. I thought you guys might like to see this, how I do this. So my tree, my sun is there. So you could like put a little dot in the middle of your sun. Here, we could do this. I don't know if it'll show. Oop, it's dirty. <laughs> well, that's one way for it to show. Have a dirty dot. So if you draw a line from the dot to the bottom of the tree, the shadow is almost straight. But from that dot to over here, I've got it pretty close to the shadow, pretty close to where it would be. And then draw a line. I can hear kids squealing outside. They're playing in the, the fall leaves. And then draw. And just kind of with your, doesn't have to be exact. There, 
Can you see that? I hope you can kind of, oh yeah, you can kind of see that. Okay guys, I'm not sure what I'm gonna paint next. I am, let's see. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of leaves in. I'm probably going to paint the trees in next. And then some grasses and shadows, maybe the shadows and the trees. I kind of want the shadows warmer than the trees, but I don't have that much warm on my palette. So I will pop back in when I think of things and I'll be back in a bit. I'd pop in it's I'm starting to calm down it's working <laughs> and I I have to tell myself things like values are more important than the color um, I'm, I'm liking it so things that I'm thinking the trees are upright and I'm thinking that they would be cooler because the Sun is pretty low in the sky there's our dot can you see the dot yet yeah. well our Sun And plus I've got kind of a white circle just to remind me. Oh, hey Freckles, hang on. That's my cat. It's lower in the sky, so it's, it's, it's throwing long shadows, but it would be warmer. This could be overthinking, but you it kind of helps our brains think about it a little bit better. So I have warmer shadows. I used my army green, so it's yellow and Mars black. And then I, I mixed a couple other little values and just dabbed with the corner of my one inch brush. And I, when I look at my phone, I like it a whole lot better than I do in person, but that's normal. But looking at my phone is a great way to step back from it. Um, so shadows are warmer. My ground is warmer. Things upright are cooler. That's basically what I'm thinking. I'm gonna paint the trees some more and get more details in because I'm gonna put in a whole bunch of yellow leaves which may not show that's where I'm gonna get nervous again and might want to add orange or something oh and then I also so I have a little so all these lines lead you in which is really nice and up oh trees that are smaller and further away are lighter less contrast than trees that are closer I put it I'm my son's here so I'm gonna I don't know if that's dark enough yet, but I'm saying, okay, let's have the darkest dark there here. And then maybe I'll just do this right now. I'm going to grab a little yellow with, a, you could put, do straight up white, but I'm going to grab yellow. So it has a little more glow and I'm going to put this in so I don't forget about it. Cause I put that dark spot in here cause I'm reminding myself, okay, I want the most contrast there. Hey Freckles, hang on. You could totally paint this with a palette knife too. Okay. So I'm gonna work on the trees some more. And I think I'm gonna keep them simple. I might gray them a little bit. I think I could do it either way. I don't know, I'm gonna play with it. And I made, like there's some more green in this tree. There's more aqua in this tree. There's some green there. I kind of varied the colors of the trees so they're, trees so they're not all the same. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends, I'm gonna stop for this evening. I think I've been working on this for about five hours. Um, I've only used the one inch brush except for in real time I demonstrated a little bit of palette knife. I um, put some gray on my trees. I don't know, they just bothered me that they were so bluish greenish. I don't know, here let me look at my phone. Oh, that, oh hi, yeah, you can kinda see me. Um, I need to step back from it. It's getting better and I'm liking it. I'm still nervous about the leaves up here, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, I like that I used some of the aqua and smear it up. Oh, I darkened this, I think, since I last talked to you. I darkened what's back here. It can go lighter because it's off in the distance. It could go darker. I'm just looking for some contrast. Like I might even go a little darker. I put a little green there to have an edge. Or you can kind of, these values are getting similar, so you kind of lose the edge, kind of lose the edge in there and there. So that's all okay too. Oh, and then I put in some straight up yellow, a little yellow there, there, and there, and then some straight up yellow in here. I put some aqua there, but I think I like that. I'm just kind of building up values and layers. I'm still use, just using phthalo blue, green shade, and cad yellow, black and white, and then mixing a bunch of different variations. It's pretty. I think that's kind of pretty. Um, limiting your color palette can totally help you because then you focus more on the values, even though I'm nervous about the leaves. You know what I could do quick? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to show, though. I was going to say I could put a... I'm not really ready to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway since I mentioned it. Um, okay, my son's there. So I could put like a leaf there. Oh, it needs a smidge of white to cover. Put a little white in my brush. I might have to and then come back and put yellow to get it to cover. Hmm. I have to put a couple coats too. I don't think this is going to show anything. There we go. That covers a little better. And see, that's similar in value. That's what I'm nervous about. But I think we'll just build it up and I'll, I'll work with my warm greens up here. I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop for tonight and I'll be back tomorrow. friends a couple of interesting things are happening so this color looks green on my palette but when I put it on top of the yellow um, it looks more brown don't you think I'm looking in my phone I think it looks more brown I'm kind of losing I need to step back from it I've like lightened my birch trees and darkened my birch trees I darkened the shadows which I think I like whoops I just took my elbow and paint which I think I like, and I think I want, I'm working on the leaves up here, but I think I'm gonna want some um, lighter yellow. I put some of this, what looks like kind of yellow green, but it looks more yellow on here, down here, but I think I'm gonna want, oops, I just lost my birch tree again. I'm gonna want some of this lighter color Kind of spilling. So I've, I've almost exclusively used this one inch brush 
For a while I was painting some lion green, which is disappearing, and I, I might need to come back. But I did use this little half inch brush for some of the lime green color right here. So anyway, I'm just working on the leaves and it's turning into looking a lot like Happy Birch Day. I'll link that video in this video's description and I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, what do you think? So, um, it worked. <laughs> um, I'm happy because it worked and I'm surprised how brown that looks. Because when I look at it, maybe it doesn't look that brown, green, sort of army green in the video. Um, but you know, it's nice that I had that yellow sky painted in so that warms it up even a little bit more. Uh, what else? Oh, I lost some edges or almost lost with some white and instead of, you could have a circle but I think it's neater to have the paint blobs as like little sparkles of the sunlight coming through the trees you know I um, painted over this edge trying to lose that edge a little bit really almost lost that edge completely lost the tree there but that was already painted in that way to help remind me um, what else Oh, I came back, I used this little brush, the half inch craft brush from Michaels a little bit more. I put in some lime green, but I don't know that it makes any difference because it kind of gets lost on top of the brown. Put in a couple of lime green here. What else did I do? I kind of was messing, oh, I, I got some fun marks, which I really like. Um, but then it can get too busy. So when I'm sitting here looking at it, oh, I'm about maybe at most a foot away from it. It looks too busy. When I look in my phone, I'm like, oh, I like it. I've got a strong line here. I mean, it's not just a straight line. I've got strong lines here. You know, I warmed it up more here. It gets a little cooler as you go out. I like the aqua. It looks a little less, oh, it looks more aqua in my phone looks less aqua blue up, up here I like some of the yellow you know Sun catching the tree I think there's a lot of like about it I just need to I need to um, I need to look at it tomorrow here you probably want to tour quick I did paint the sides oh I might need to paint the top some I kind of ignored the top there at the end I don't know if I can get this in video <laughs> I always laugh because there's uh, there's always stuff that happens that you don't want to happen all right so let's see if I can kind of square it up get you a closer look so you can do a blue and yellow landscape painting uh, black and white so some people don't count black and white as color um, some do so it's either a two color blue and yellow whoops sorry or a four color painting depending how you count your colors what you consider colors you can see the green a little bit. I kind of like that. Ooh, and it makes my hand look purple and red, right? When it's so up close with all this yellow, my camera doesn't know how to adjust the colors. There's a traceable for Happy Birch Day, which I mentioned earlier. I mentioned that video earlier. I don't think I mentioned the traceable. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to square it up. Okay, guys, let me know what you think of this one. I had a lot of fun. It challenged me. I've never had a yellow sky before. I, had, I have done two color paintings, but it's been animals. And it. I knew it should work the same, but it still made me nervous and worried. But I'm really excited about it. Thank you. Thank you all for your support. 
I super appreciate all of you. It's just made my life a thousand percent better to connect with all you creative people. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.